Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for finding us. Thanks for uh, tuning in. This is ResortLoop.com, episode number 21. Hey, you got it right. Outstanding. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it because now we're legal. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, we should be like our, our buddies over Diz After Dark. We should have had some... Uh, some drinks. You should crack something open. There you go. It'd probably just be my head, though. So let's. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Show number 21. Um, today, what are we going to talk about today, Bob? Well, today uh, we're going to uh, go over, over a very controversial uh, uh, issue <gasps> with the uh, Walt Disney Company. Uh-oh. Yeah. We're, you know, uh, can I preface this by saying... You have to. We are not Disney haters. No. We try and make this uh, this podcast as, as positive as we possibly can most of the time. We are a half-full podcast. Absolutely. We are honest. If we if we don't like something, we say we don't like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But we're fair. We, we, we love Disney, and, and we hope that that shows. That being said, um, we're going to talk about limited time magic. Oh, I love the topic. I don't know. I love the topic. I didn't say I'm going to love everything in it, but I'm going to love the topic. But before that, we'll see. We need to do your shout outs. Shout outs. Yeah, I got uh, I got one uh, or we got one on the uh, the Twitter uh, from uh, Disney Chicago. Uh, That's my town. Is it? No, you've never even been to Chicago. Uh, I flew in there once. <laughs> we flew in once and drove out from there. Uh, Disney Chicago says. Uh, uh, Bob and Tim just listened to the number 18 podcast on resortloop.com. Great job. Enjoyed the insight. Uh, that was the one with uh, Safari Mike. Oh, that was so we got still one of, of my favorites. Yeah, we got a lot of good uh, a lot of good press on that, as they say. Yes. So, And you have one? I one? have one from uh, Gary Zarelli. He posted on the Facebook. He said, hi, guys. Really love your show. I'm a DVC member, and our home resort is Old Key West. I would like to know if you are a DVC member and your review on Old Key West. I think it's the best kept secret in Disney. Your thoughts? And thanks again. Hmm. I've eaten over at uh, one of the restaurants over at Old Key West, but I've, I've never stayed there. I will say I am not a DVC member. I have stayed there once. No, oh, I visited there. I didn't even <laughs> stay there. <laughs> I wondered where those crickets came from. I didn't know what was going on there for a second. No, I think we're visiting my parents there. They were staying there. They love it over there. Yeah. But it was a nice... Uh, it was a large two bedroom. Uh, Everybody says that they are uh, they are fantastic. I think those are the largest rooms too, aren't they? I, think, I believe uh, so. The, the, mm-hmm. the largest villas. Being we'll the have first to do a uh, show on on the villas. You have to find an expert. Maybe it's been to more than the couple I've been to. Exactly, exactly. We uh, the only one we've ever stayed at is uh, uh, Hilton Head. So okay, that's that's the only experience I have with it, and we it was beautiful. I got to say, it was we stayed at Vero Beach for a night that was, and the resort was very nice, and then. Uh, Beach Club Villas, so. Oh, uh, I want to do the Beach Club Villas. Sounds like a future show. Yes, it does. We'll have to do that. Excellent. So. Let's not put it off any longer. Oh. We tried. We we have tried to put this off, folks. Believe me. We, we uh, again, because we don't want to be negative, but but we just feel like it's it's time to, to talk about this uh, limited time magic. So, as, as everybody knows, uh, or most of you know, the limited time magic kicked off at the end of last year. Disney had the... Uh, uh, Cinderella's Castle in ice and Times Square in New York City yes. and said, well, it's going to melt because it's limited and that's what our promo is this year, is a limited time magic. A triumphant announcement. Yes, it was. And everybody was excited. What it's, This is going to be great. What is it? Nobody really quite knew. And, and really, I, I'm not so sure Disney knows. I don't think they knew. I think they knew a couple <laughs> things and then they got their people... So what, what I would like to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna just go over the things that have already uh, happened, and then uh, the things that are going to happen, and then uh, and and what I would like is is your opinion on those. I love it. So uh, uh, the first thing that Disney announced was they were going to do the Year of the Ear, uh, promising new limited edition ear hats each month. Uh, this week, uh, the first week in January, saw the release of five new Couture ear hats. Designed especially with the stylish Disney fashionista in mind. 
Well, I believe couture is French for expensive. Uh, most likely, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, uh, I mean, it... I mean, how many pairs of ears do you need? Yeah, and and is everything going to appeal to you? No. I'm not a hat guy for one, much less the one with ears on it. Here's my big question, and this and this is this is one that I think, as as a Disney stockholder, and I am, disclaimer there, uh, small, very minute. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but is it going to drive you to go to one of the parks, any of the parks? No, no, not for me. All I right. would not go just to get a hat. Item number two. They came out with the second week of January. They came out with it snowed in Epcot. At the Canada Pavilion, guests got to see gently falling snow at a new character meet-and-greet location at World Showcase's Canada Pavilion. Can I tell you how excited I am to see snow? Uh, yeah, no. I uh, mean, it snowed today. And it's, and it's April. And it's April, yes. Late April. Not a big deal for anybody in the northern section of the country. We don't like it. No. <laughs> if we did, we would do a Cleveland podcast. But Is that going to make you go to the park? Oh, no. No. I'm not even sure I'd walk over there to see it if I was there. Exactly. Just saying. Uh, oh, I will say I've seen the snow at uh, Disney's uh, Very Merry Christmas Party. It's really cool because it's Florida and it's snowing. But I, it's not going to drive me to go to Epcot. No. Main Street's a little different than Canada. Absolutely. Uh, the second or third week in uh, or third week in January, they came out with the Long Lost Friends Week. Some of Disney's rarest characters came out to play at the Magic Kingdom. Guests got to meet and greet the cast of Pinocchio, Robin Hood, the Three Little Pigs, and Ducktales, and even Mickey Mouse's long lost pals Clarabelle Cow and Horace Horsecollar. Well, that's very uh, very that's very boring. I mean, if you're down there and you're in the park and you see Clarabelle, the, was it Clar- Clarabelle the clown? Clarabelle the, uh, the cow. Yeah. Would you know it's a rare no. character? No. I wouldn't know. And i got to be honest, back in 2000, we were there and um, we got to see the Pinocchio characters. The the two cats that, that okay. get Pinocchio in trouble. I can't remember their names off the top of my know. head, but they were already out then. So, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I know. Uh, again, not a not a driving force to no. make you go. So far, nothing that would make me have to pack up the car and go right away. This one, uh, I did vote on this one. This was the end of January as well. For one week only, Disney fans got the chance to vote for next year's Disney Parks dated art design for 2014. Which is the castle with it. It's it's the numbers 2014, but it looks like a castle. Okay. Was that the, like the Mary Blair inspired look? Yes. Yes. I love the Mary Blair thing. Absolutely. But. And But again, did it online. Right. It cost me nothing. I gave Disney no money. I don't yeah. understand. They're hoping you're going to go show up for your design you picked out. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Love the Mary Blair look. That's the... Yeah, I mean, but, the, yeah. it was nice that they asked input, which that which, was nice, I guess. But uh, yeah, so far I'm loving these limited ma- limited magic things. Okay, so January's been a wash. <laughs> Here we come. We're going to go into February, and uh, the Magic Kingdom gets into the Super Bowl spirit with a super pre parade, including an appearance by Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco the day after the big game. Wow, they do that every year, yeah. don't they? Every yeah. the guy's always in the parade. They did a Disney football star yes. Goofy hit the streets uh, for a lively pigskin celebration. I oh. suppose that might be new. I, I don't know. That's, that's hmm. You're right. They do it every year. Is that from the Three Little Pigs? Where are they get the pigskin from for those footballs? <laughs> that's a little harsh. Well, yeah. maybe they're not showing up for limited time magic because yeah. they're now the football. I, I didn't hear that they were. I oh, didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't read their names off, so that might be a, yeah, that might be sad. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the big deal. You know, you just won the Super Bowl. We're, what are you going to do now? I'm going to Disney World. There you go. Ugh. We're not going to go to see no. that. No. No. Uh, also, the first week of February, they had a uh, stop by Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe in Tomorrowland for Super Sunday menu items, including soup, wow, er, bowls, of lobster bisque and tomato basil bisque, which at Cosmic Rays, that's kind of a big deal because you're talking, you know, chicken tenders and burgers for the most part. But 
<laughs> I'm wondering about lobster biscuit <laughs> from Tomorrowland. For, uh, yeah, is it, well, you know, I didn't think of that. But, uh, mm, like, where are they ladling that out of? And now let's go ride the teacups. <laughs> <laughs> mm, creamy shellfish-based soup. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's Space Mountain. Let's churn it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't need that curdling uh, in your stomach. Okay, so uh, the second week in February... Being Valentine's Week, uh, they did a true love week. A tapestry of romance is woven throughout the resort. From limited time Valentine's Day merchandise and special entertainment to romantic dinners for two and new themed photo locations offering greetings with beloved Disney sweethearts. Which I guess that was a big deal, that you could get a picture with uh, Prince Charming and Cinderella. Oh, Uh, so you're the third wheel on their date. uh, (laughs) <laughs> but here's an opportunity to tag along the, on their date. You're the one that said this is a half full podcast. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm trying to make go. it half full. I, I My bowl of lobster bisque was half full. I can finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a moment? Should we pause until you stop tape? Handle that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Another. Okay. Uh, uh, February 18th through the 24th, they held the uh, President's Day celebration featuring special presidential performances by the a cappella group Voices of Liberty, which I love. Oh, they're fantastic. At the American Gardens Theater in Epcot. Shouldn't that be something we do every President's Week? I would think so. Fourth of July. And maybe they have. They're just, they're just publicizing it now. Now we're just saying this is a limited time magic thing. Now maybe if we could get the Voices of Liberty, hang with me on this, Yeah. to sing yeah. around Abraham Lincoln in the Hall of Presidents, like a little doo-wop. Yeah. I'm liking that. Only if you can make them animatronics. Which I don't think is in the budget. No, no. I, I want them to actually be behind them and then reprogram like uh, Abraham Lincoln to like do a little dance. Do, <laughs> do, you're watching too many commercials on President's Weekend. That might be. <laughs> that, that and I went to buy a, a Buick. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. That rapping uh, commercial with him and George Washington. Uh, I love that. A little over the top. Yeah, that's uh, okay. I'm sorry. Let's uh, put this back on the track. I apologize. Let's, let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, now this one, you, I know you, huge 80s fan. Oh. Huge 80s fan. I'm hoping to get this out of one, the 80s. This one made you so excited, I'm sure. The Dapper Dans, the iconic quartet from Main Street, USA, tipped their hats to a new kind of music that they discovered while strolling through the park one day. Oh. In the lovely month of May. Watch this winsome quartet and their new, all-new medley that will have everybody seeing what makes you beautiful. But they won't be saying bye, bye, bye to Barbershop completely. After all, the Dapper Dans are the original boy band. Disney says this musical time warp is a can't-miss experience at the Magic Kingdom. They had the Dapper Dans singing boy band tunes. That. From the 80s and 90s is tremendously underwhelming to me. <laughs> I know. I was extremely disappointed I could not book and spend $2,000 plus to get down to Disney to see that. Yeah. I mean, these are, again, how are these making people go, I have to book a trip to see this? I don't understand because they could be singing those songs all the time. All the time. Sneak one in your usual set. People would probably think it's wonderful. and Sure. Absolutely. But a lot of the stuff so far is not going to drive me to go actually go. If I was already there, probably good, but... Right, right. Mm. Uh, so the first week in March, we get to see the Spring Trolley Show on Main Street, USA. The citizens of Main Street, USA and the Magic Kingdom Parks are bursting with excitement. Ouch. Now that spring is in the air, well, you, to you, the nines. Usually you want to start bursting until about July, August with the heat. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I mean, the trolley show, I again, um, hmm. kind of on the same par with Dapper Dan's. Yeah. Uh, uh, the entire month of March, um, they debuted the uh, the new Disney cosmetics line. All right. Maybe. Again, nothing you really have to go to the parks for, or, or, you know. Um, you probably it, buy it online, I would assume, but I don't know. You can buy it online. Can you? Oh, you can well, get you it on, uh, at Downtown Disney. Um, they had uh, a special event, I guess, in the the trendy shop at Downtown Disney. Okay. Uh, yeah, I usually yeah. don't wear more than just a mild foundation, so I might not be the yeah. one to comment on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm, I'm more of a lip gloss guy, but yeah, yeah, that's tell. okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, then they revealed uh, the uh, the art for 2014. That was in, at the beginning of March. Nothing really a big deal there. Uh, this one, I, I, I hadn't heard about this one, but follow the yellow brick road to Wonder Ground Gallery in the downtown Disney J- district for a limited time event celebrating the release of the Walt Disney Studios' fantastical adventure, Oz the Great and Powerful. Had they not put out Oz the Great and Powerful, they wouldn't have done that. Well, no. Had they put out the gr- Oz the Great and Wonderful, uh, Great and Powerful, they still would have done that. Right. It's a press event. It's a it's a it's an event about the movie that they're releasing to get you excited to go see the movie. Yes. Looking for some PR. This is one that I would have liked to have participated. In. Oh, okay. However, I don't think I would have made a special trip to go down and participate in this. All right. It was the uh, the Easter egg hunt at Epcot. Okay. Disney was hi- uh, hid ten character theme eggs. They were pretty big size eggs. Character sized. Not character size, but like dinosaur sized eggs. Around World Showcase. <laughs> Here's the little caveat. For four dollars and ninety five cents, you can purchase a special egg map to record your findings and then turn it in for a special surprise. Oh. Which <gasps> was a little tiny like vinylmation keychain that was probably worth about two bucks. Wow, that's awesome. Or four ninety five. So right, you could exactly. have just gone and bought, bought the Ugh. the keychain. But I mean, I would have done that. I think that might have been fun running around Epcot looking for these little yeah. Hidden, if you're there, hidden yeah. eggs. If I'm there, right at Easter time. Now, if I'm there at Easter time, I'm probably spending most of my time wondering why the parks were closed because they had reached capacity and I couldn't get in anyway. Right. Because <laughs> that was insane this Easter. And like, I don't want to go on any rides. I'm just going to look for eggs. Yeah, I don't, no, mm. no. no. <laughs> Forget Soren, honey. We're going to look for Easter eggs. <laughs> uh, at the end of uh, March, they had, uh, again, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny was there. They held a, another Easter egg hunt at Epcot's United Kingdom Pavilion. I, I think they do that every year as well. Mm. Uh, so that brings us to, to April. April... Uh, had uh, Disney's Year of the Ear, remember back uh, to the very yes, first one, yes. Year of the Ear. They uh, they uh, had a strawberry ear hat, so it was Mickey ears, and the hat part of it looked like a big strawberry. Oh, how uh, seasonal! Uh, and uh, debuted that and was available at the uh, Flower and Garden Festival. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, they had the uh, uh, fans of the Disney Truck Shop, Walt Disney World's newest shop on wheels, parked at downtown Disney's West Side area, selling a limited edition vintage style Disney Truck Shop t shirt. A Disney Truck Shop. The key word there is selling. Yes. Well, they're selling lots of stuff for limited time magic. Um, I'm sure they're going to sell these Disney Truck Shop T-shirts anyway. Right. Wow. And uh, that uh, then we came to, uh, which I think was last week. Yes, it was last week. It was uh, Fairies Week at Magic Kingdom. Tinkerbell's fans from uh, the Disney Fairies franchise are flying in for a special meet and greet experience at Tinkerbell's Magic Magical Nook in Adventureland. Hmm. Again. No. Did don't they do that anyway? I think it'd be better to have put the fairies on the fairies to the Magic Kingdom. Well, that would have been for a double fairy experience. That would have been irony. Yes. Would it? I don't know. I'll have to look that word up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what steel has to do with any of this. I don't either. Uh, so that brings us to this week that we're recording this, and uh, this is a big deal. But it was a big deal anyway, and it sh- and uh, really. I don't know how this has anything to do with uh, uh, limited time magic. It's Animal Kingdom's 15th anniversary. Yes, yes. Uh, I like the new logo they have for the 15th anniversary. Very it's sharp. Cool. Very sharp. Um, but it, they're stretching it into a week-long party for the planet. Wow. I didn't get an invite. 
Isn't that what Rafiki's um, Planet Watch does every day of the <laughs> every day of the year? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. Um, mm. Boy, I tell you. So overwhelmed, underwhelmed. Well, so far, far for the first was this four months? Three months. Three months. Four so months. it's a, four months. Yeah. yeah so it's the first uh, what, quarter, third of the year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very underwhelming. You can't wait to go. I can't wait to go, but I'm like. Going this for any of this limited time magic stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. just very. Remember when they had the deal where once uh, once a day, someone uh, would win a stay inside the castle suite. Yes, people were going for that. Right. My wife said we're going because I want to win that. Yes. Remember, like it was. I think it was their tenth anniversary. Every ten seconds, somebody go, what, going in the park would get something. Get something. Yeah, they just had... a little hat or something, a, yeah. a poster or yeah. even what one car a day. Yes. Now yes. that's some magic. That is worth going down there for. All right, so we're underwhelmed thus far. But it gets better. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> In July, we're going to have the Walt Disney World Goes Red, White, and Blue for Independence Week. With patriotic lighting, bathing Cinderella Castle, and Mickey Mouse dressed in his patriotic finest, guests will also find special USA shirts, ears, uh, ear hats and other limited edition souvenirs. I'll bet you can buy those. I was just going to say, hopefully it's something else I can buy. Mm. That's July. Now, uh, uh, these are the only ones that have been announced. Okay. Uh, Hold out hope. The week of February, uh, or I'm sorry, the week of uh, September 13th, Friday the 13th. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Disney's Hollywood Studios unleashes the villains for Friday the 13th. In a world <laughs> <laughs> where love no longer exists. No. Uh, the park will open until the 13th hour, oh. 1 a.m., while Maleficent, Captain Hook, Jafar, and other Disney villains host a dance party complete with limited edition collectibles and other nighttime mischief. Oh. This Sounds like Mickey's uh, Halloween party. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they love to do their dancing parties. It, that might be cool if you're local. If, yeah. If you're in the Orlando right. area, you live in Florida, yeah, let's run over there and check it out. Yeah. Again, you're talking thousands of dollars to travel to Walt Disney World. Are you going to do it for that? Yeah, it's one of those things I'd, I'd have to already be there. And a date that hasn't been announced, but uh, something that they're wanting to do, and this is the last one I got, Okay, is a pirate week. Arr. Why talk like a pirate like you? Uh, <laughs> one day when you could celebrate these scallywags all week long, the adventure of Jack Sparrow comes to life like never before during a bi-coastal buccaneer bash in which Disneyland and Walt Disney World become pirate palooza, pirate bands, pirate meet and greets, and more international Talk Like a Pirate Day is September 19th, but Disney has yet to announce whether its celebration will coincide with that. I think it has to. I want Captain Jack Sparrow against Captain Ron. Oh, that would be cool. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I love Captain Ron. Can I just I'm say? Going, I'm going full Captain Ron on that one. I think, <laughs> I think he's, he's got that one in the bag. Uh, I love that movie. I hate to say this. Say it. Uh, I almost put myself to sleep. <laughs> Wake up out there. Uh, <laughs> please, please uh, download the rest of our shows. They're, they're much more entertaining. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't get it, man. I will say, as far as this limited time magic, there's a rumor. I don't know if you've heard of the rumor that at some day in May, they might try the other, another other 24-hour event. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. Um. But again, I'm not. I'm, I don't think I'm going to travel all the way down there to to be there for 24 hours. No, I'd have to coordinate with days off. I don't know if I would try to schedule a vacation around it. Right, right. But that'd be more on the cool scale than a lot of the other things they've done. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for something. I, I really am. I'm, I mean, we're like you said, we're we're a third of the way through the year, and I'm just not seeing anything. I'm just wondering if they don't really have to do a whole lot. With the whole new Fantasyland thing, they're driving people there. They don't need to draw a whole lot more people. Well, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. I don't know. They, they've got a huge um, monetary investment in that. 
there's been talk uh, we've seen or heard rumors of uh, Cars Land going into um, uh, the Disney Studios. Uh, of course, the Avatar Land thing is is becoming a, a thing, uh, a big monetary investment. Um, I, I don't I don't know. Is it is it because they're spending so much money getting the parks fixed up and ready to go, uh, building new villas over at uh, Grand Floridian? I, I don't know. That's true. I, I don't know what's going on. And the whole Polynesian thing now? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not thrilled. I'm not excited about this. It's, it's very anticlimactic for Disney, and I'm shocked. Yeah. There's always that one big thing they do every year, and I have a feeling this year is just, hey, we built Fantasyland. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. So uh, thus far, rating, I want you to rate... One to ten, limited time magic. Oh, one to ten. I'm going. I'm going optimistic. I'm going four. Ooh, my heart wants to say three. Ooh, you sir, are definitely podcast half full. Because <laughs> I got to go with the two. The two. I got to go with the two. The the hats, the hats are something that they could have come up with, and just uh, allowed us to buy them anyway. Uh, the new trucks, we talked about this on uh, on one of the other podcasts. They're, that's one of the things that they're thinking about doing is using these mobile uh, food uh, trucks, and oh, mobile yeah. uh, merchandise trucks to go around. Um, they were planning that anyway uh, to make make it seem like these are, are exciting new things that you can take advantage of. They were going to do it anyway, and, and it's costing you money. It's not something that they're actually... There's there's no magic in anything that they have done so far. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to say a two. A two. A oh. two. Yeah. So, so that's all we got. Uh, if uh, if you've got any ideas on uh, on how you feel about <laughs> the limited time magic, if you're excited about it, you know, we got that uh, we got that email from uh, I think it was Gary, as a matter of fact. Uh, that said, hey, you guys got to give Avatar Land a chance. You're you're being yeah. so negative about it, and you know what? He's right. Give us the reason why we're wrong about uh, about this limited time magic. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for some input. Yeah, I mean, we might be looking at it from an aspect that we're a thousand miles away. Right, right. And nothing's actually going to drive us there. Where usually there's that one big celebration a year. Yep, yep. You know, you want to get down there and see it. So before before we wrap this up, real quick, if you can, what would you like to see? A limited time magic. Something limited time magic that you would like to see. What would make you hop in the car and say, I just gotta be there for this? Right. Right. So uh, send us those uh, send us those tips. We'll pass them along to our contacts at uh, Disney. Yes. Uh, we know people. Have, have we found anybody yet? I don't know. No. Okay. Uh, but uh, we'll <laughs> we'll try and get it to somebody. And, uh, and, you know, who knows? Who knows? You, we know for a fact that Disney listens to podcasts. They have people that, that uh, uh, want to get that, uh, that listen to all of the podcasts so that they can get a different perspective on, uh, on what they're doing and see uh, kind of how they're doing unsolicited. Um, so yeah, who knows? Maybe one of your ideas will, uh, will spark them to, yes. uh, to do something. So. Uh, but that's all I got. I do have a sweepstakes. Bring it out. Rock all it. Right. Let me throw this one out to you. You got to get on this quick because this ends at the end of this month. It, it, this is limited time magic, my friend. <laughs> this this just is in. very limited time magic. Um, this is pretty cool. This is from uh, My Coke Rewards. Um, it is a choice. This one's pretty cool. It's a choice oh. of a vacation to Disneyland or Walt Disney World for a family of four. Uh, again, this thing ends at the end of the month. Um, you got to be 18 years uh, old or older, uh, and you got to add. Uh, you got to kind of uh, give them your information to become a, uh, a, a My Coke Rewards uh, member. They give you three points. Uh, it's three points per entry, which I guess you get those being a, a member. But they'll give you three points, so your first entry is free. Um, and uh, you get a five-day, four-night vacation for four to your choice of Disneyland or Walt Disney World from Coca-Cola. That's awesome. Uh, they're giving airfare with this, and uh, and of course they're not telling you what the uh, what the resort is, but uh, 
They're going to give you five Magic Your Way park hoppers uh, and a VIP showing for a parade um, for, for four. So that'll be kind of cool. It's a little bit of the uh, my uh, uh, the Fast Pass Plus kind of thrown in there, it looks like. So. Sounds like for the parade stuff. Yeah, I love so, it. Yeah. Yeah, so jump jump on that. That's uh, up on our uh, website and uh, Facebook. So check check it out. I uh, I hope somebody wins. And if you ever win something that we've kind of told you about, please let us know. Let us I mean, know. That'd be awesome. That would be cool. I love it. So that's all I got, Tim. All right, that's all I got. I think we'll wrap up this show. I guess it was limited. It was, was limited. a limited time magical show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it may have bored people as much as the Disney limited time. That's magic right. Hopefully, you'll rate it higher than a two, three, or a four, depending on <laughs> <laughs> on your mood. <laughs> anyway, speaking of which, yes. please go to iTunes and, and give us a rating. Let us let us know how you feel about the show. Yes, rate us, review us, let us know. Yep, share the resort loop love, as they say. I I try to. I know. <laughs> you and me both, brother. We'll leave it there. <laughs> Anyway, follow me on uh, Twitter. I'm Resort Loop Tim. You can follow us on the website over at uh, resortloop.com. And Facebook uh, forward slash uh, Resort Loop. And I am Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter. So uh, let us know what's going on. Let us uh, let us know what you think about the show and uh, any ideas you have. Yep, send all that in to us. Thank you very much. And, and again, this is uh, resortloop.com, your gateway to the magic. See you, everybody.